guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. I think I'm starting to lose track a little bit, but I hope you guys have been enjoying the vlogs this far. Compared to the last time that I did Vlogmas, I think I'm much better about getting the vlogs up every day, even though they're later at night. But yeah, I'm still kind of like working on my vlog skills and like what people want to see and and all of that, you know. Um, so it is about 9 a.m. I slept in just a little bit and I have a little bit of coffee here. It is a really rainy day. Uh, I'll show you in a second, but it's really gloomy looking, which is not usually what it's like in Miami. But I heard it's supposed to get down to 48 and people are freaking out because it never gets cold here and I'm from the Midwest so I'm like totally used to the cold and then when I moved down here it's like my resilience to the cold just like went out the door so I am actually really excited for it to get cold like 48 degrees because especially around Christmas I'm watching all of these Christmas vlogs and videos and I'm like seeing things on TV and I just feel like that the cold makes it feel really cozy and I don't know, so I'm just kind of excited for it to get a little bit cooler so I can like wear a sweater. Like I can wear this like tiny thin sweater, but other than that, really it's hot. So wearing like sweater or boots, like I just can't. So I have them all like stored away here then they never get any love and I have a really cute sweater that I bought last year was it in New York and I got to wear it like once so I really want to bring it out to, again and I can show you guys as well so um, apologies for my appearance but I want to keep it real um, I don't want to try to like I could have like done my makeup and stuff I guess actually I have makeup on from last night because I broke the cardinal rule of all beauty rules, and that is you should never sleep in your makeup. Yep, I did it, and I shouldn't have, but last night, Cesar and I and our friend Seth went to an Art Basel event, like several Art Basel things. Um, we went out to dinner to Michael's Genuine, which is in the Miami Design District, and we had a nice little dinner there. And then we went to, I can't remember the name of the studio, but it was more like um, eclectic art, kind of like political art. So it was very, you know, intense. Um, I actually didn't post anything on Instagram because my phone was like on 5%. Um, and w like with service, since there's like so many people out, there was hardly any service. None of us could get service. But yeah. So then we went down to Wynwood and we just like walked around. We actually got to see some uh, some artists live painting on on the street because like there are these huge walls in Wynwood. I feel like I should take you guys around and do like a tour of Miami uh, because Wynwood has these beautiful walls and people, artists, not people, artists <laughs> come and they paint murals. I'm not really sure how it works, like how they get permission. Um, but yeah, like you will go and like overnight someone has painted this really intricate beautiful work of art and it just blows my mind so I went there and we watched some people um, doing some painting there was some music it was kind of chaotic to be honest like people were like running around and um, and big crowds like that I'm not great in because I find that since I'm small people don't see me and they like spill drinks on me they run into me and yeah so um, but I think I did a pretty good job managing that situation. Um, then we didn't get back here till like 2 a.m., which is staying out pretty late for me. I normally go to bed like way earlier than 2 a.m. And as soon as we came home, we both just like flopped in bed. Have you ever done that where like you just take off your clothes, put on your pajamas, and you just like get into bed and you're like out like that? That is what happened last night. And I woke up this morning from a horrible dream and like a dream that I had a dream last night. I don't know if this is like sharing too much information, but you guys are cool. So I had a dream last night that I was at a dance audition. And let me share a little piece of information. I cannot dance at all. Cannot dance to save my life, to dance myself out of a box. No, like I cannot dance at all. And suddenly I was at a dance audition and I was like waiting in line to for my turn to dance. And I got a text message from my dad that was like, I'm um, sorry to interrupt you, but there's an emergency. And I was like, that's weird, but he didn't call me. Um, 
and so I'm like still waiting and then this is where it gets really weird like they take us to another place for this dance audition and while I'm in the car like stopped at a stoplight some person that I knew from high school opens the car door and is like you need to call your dad and I'm like oh my gosh like so get out of the car door like forgetting about my dance dreams and I like call my dad and then I like wake up so I think I should call my dad today. <laughs> um, I'm gonna call him because that's really weird. I feel like, I don't know if you guys like believe in that kind of stuff, but um, I kind of like believe in like signs or believe in those things, but maybe just like subconsciously, I wanted to call my dad. And so through my dream and my brain told me like, hey, you should call your dad. So I'm gonna call him today and catch up with him. My dad is an amazing man and he has so much wisdom and advice like really good advice and he's just so caring um yeah so i'm really fortunate to have amazing parents okay. <laughs> there i hope you can see me a little bit better i changed a setting on my camera i'm still trying to figure out this camera and get used to it but it just got super dark because i think it's going to rain again um but yeah i'm not sure what i'm going to get up to today other than i have quite a bit of work to do i really want to take some time this weekend to revamp my blog because that's kind of how all of this started is i had my first blog which was imperfect pearl at blogspot.com and now it's coffee with courtney and i just want to improve it make it look nicer and i yeah like want to establish make that a bigger part of what I'm doing so I want to spend some time on that um, I want to get some Christmas decorations but um, I don't know like there's not a lot of people to enjoy them so I'm thinking about doing kind of like a Dollar Tree Christmas decorating video I don't know what do you guys think of that if I went to Dollar Tree because I have a really good one that has a lot of Christmas selection and saw what I can get um, that looks nice and that I could decorate the house with but like on the more affordable side because I don't know um, I just don't want to spend a ton of money on Christmas decorations that like no one else is going to enjoy I kind of rather save that money and spend it on decorations like that will be up all year long for the house because Cesar and I have been talking like we want to like decorate our place a little bit more like with photos of our travels and like do kind of like a gallery wall so yeah, um, let me know if you guys would like to see a Dollar Tree Christmas decorating video and I can do that for you. Um, what else? Yeah, this weekend I want to film some more videos and just um, catch up on a couple things. And yeah, I don't know, I'll take you along, but I think I'm going to drink my cup of coffee here and I might watch something on Netflix. And then I think I'm going to do some yoga because I am super sore from my workout yesterday. My legs are really feeling it, which means I need to get my booty back in gear to work out more so that it's not as hard on my body. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll check in with you guys a little bit later and talk to you soon. On rainy days like this, this is where Luna hangs out all day because rabbits, if you didn't know, rabbits um, have a biological instinct to go underground whenever it rains because, you know, they don't want to get wet. So she hides under anything she can find and then just hangs out. Oh yeah, it's a rough life. It is much later now. Today I've just been relaxing. I feel like this rain just made me super sleepy. So I watched a documentary about algorithms, which was actually really fascinating. And Cesar and I ate lunch. He just went to work. And so now I'm going to get started on my work now. But first I'm going to make a little juice smoothie thing. Um, I'm trying to recreate the one that I had at the Athens juice bar. I believe that was Vlogmas day one. So I have kale greens here. I have cucumber, pineapple, um, ginger, and then I'm going to add in this packet of ginseng for added energy along with some ice cubes and probably a little bit of water just to help it blend all together. So I will see how this tastes. So this is what it looks like all blended up. Now I'm going to pour it in a cute little glass and give it a taste.
There we go. So here is my green juice and I even have some leftover I'm going to put in the fridge. It is so good. I'm going to leave the recipe down in the description box. I promise it doesn't taste like grass. It tastes really, really nice. So you should definitely give it a try. And the kale and cucumber, the kale is going to be really good for like fiber. That's why I didn't juice it and I blended it instead. Um, the kale and cucumber would be great for B vitamins, for iron, for helping your skin look really glowy. Ginseng and ginger are going to be great for your blood pressure and for energy. The pineapple adds um, vitamin C. It also makes it a tiny bit sweet so it doesn't have that grassy taste but it's not too, too sugary. So I highly recommend this juice. It's time to open today's advent calendar little gift so let's see what is inside. Oh, I am really excited about today's advent calendar surprise. This is a uh, pro concealer from LA Girl. They sell this brand at Ulta and I saw it recently and I wanted to try their concealer and their foundation, but I decided to start with the concealer because I have heard amazing things. It was pretty inexpensive. I want to say seven-ish dollars, $6.99 maybe, and it's comparable to the Makeup Forever, they say. So I'm definitely going to give this one a try and the next time I do my makeup and I will let you know how it works, but I'm really excited. Like, I think I'm gonna use this on blemishes and um, an under eye. So yeah, that's today's advent calendar. Hey again, so I have been the laziest person in this entire apartment. <laughs> um, I've been so lazy today. It is still super gloomy. It's about 4 p.m., but it looks like 7 p.m. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry. I don't have a lot of content today. I just kind of like have been chilling out. I've been watching a lot of Vlogmas videos because when you're making Vlogmas videos and working, I haven't had a chance to watch anyone's Vlogmas videos. So, um, so I'm going to leave down in the description box the links to the channels of Vlogmas that I have been watching so you can watch them too. And yeah, so I have some work to do. I need to work on a couple things now tonight. I'm not going out tonight. Um, I just wore myself out last night. <laughs> so I thought I would uh, include in this little portion of the vlog some products that I have been loving and I like recommend and yeah just chat like products because I really like that part about my channel is talking about different products and yeah helping people discover things that can improve their life. So the first thing I wanted to chat about was the deodorant that I tried yesterday, the La Vanilla Natural Deodorant. It actually worked really well. I couldn't tell a difference between this one and the degree deodorant that I use like on a normal basis. So the Sport Lux one, so far, so good. Um, then I was chatting with my friend Angelica the other day and she has a channel on here too. I'll put in the description box. You should go check her out and subscribe. It is called Angelica's Tutorials. Uh, she has a more like makeup focused channel. It's awesome. And she was telling me how much she like rediscovered this Pond's Rejuvenous Anti-Wrinkle Cream. And I used to use this like in 2013, 12, 2012 to like 2014. I used this and I really liked the way my skin looked those days. So I don't know why I stopped using it. So I was at the store the other day and picked up the trial size again and I really have been liking what it's doing to my skin. So thank you Angelica for reminding me to rediscover this product. Um, another thing that's been helping with my skin is vitamin E. I got this the other day on recommendation from my gynecologist because um, when I went for my exam there is um, there's something that's really common. So women who are under 40 tend to have more fibrous tissue in their breasts. And I'm pretty sure YouTube's going to flag this video for me saying the word breast because that has happened to me before. But this is important. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so she was saying that it's nothing to be concerned about, but I'll probably get a mammogram like since I have a family history of like fibroids in my breast tissue in my family. I'll probably get a mammogram like before 40 just to be on the safe side, 
but to prevent fibroids in your breast and to kind of combat fibrous breast tissue, vitamin E is a really good thing to take. Um, you do have to be careful because vitamin E is an oil-based vitamin, so you, um, you can on only take you know, exactly what is recommended. And of course, I'm not a doctor, so you should talk to your doctor before you, you know, decide to take vitamins or go over it with them. It says it can also help with your heart health and immune health and skin health. I think this has definitely like helped with my skin health. I can tell like in just a couple days I've been taking it. So, um, so I've been really, really liking that. And something else for my skin is the, of course, water. It's like the most obvious thing, but I was having a like a skin breakout and my skin was looking really dry it was just like looking really bad and I looked thought back and I was like oh my gosh I have not drank enough water this week so I I do this all the time whenever I need to like make sure I'm drinking enough water I get a 32 ounce mason jar I fill it half with ice and then put water and a big straw and I just like just drink it I try to fill it up twice and I feel like that's the easiest way for me to get in the water that I need. Um, a product that's been helping with my skin and like an acne breakout I had are these glycolic fix acne pads, or not acne pads, um, they're by the brand Nip and Fab. They are just glycolic pads that you swipe across your face after you, after you cleanse your face. They have 4% glycolic acid, which is great for wrinkles, fine lines, acne. Um, it also, let's see, congested skin, like break, like uh, blackheads and stuff. So I'll show you. They look just like the normal, like, pads. I got these at Walgreens on sale. They have them at Walgreens, I think CVS, and Ulta. So you can check those out if you're interested. Um, yeah, so those are a few products that have been improving my life, and I just wanted to share them in case they might improve your life um, because that is something I really want to to do in my content is to try and help people improve their life and you know while improving my life and I think that's just um, that's something that's really important to me so I think now is a good time to insert the footage from like I promised from the sprint and art basil event I went to so I had the opportunity to go to see Ruben Ubiera. He is an artist. He came from New York down to Miami to do a huge mural in Wynwood. And he was doing it in collaboration with Sprint because they have a Live Unlimited campaign, um, which I'll leave all the information down in the description box. And his mural is all about connectivity, about uniting people. And so there's that connection there because Sprint is trying to like unite people with like unlimited data. And so he did a yellow mural, that's the base of it. And then there's a beautiful like shades of gray and blue. And actually at the event, I saw one version. And then last night, whenever Cesar and I were in Wynwood, he had added this beautiful flower right in the center. So I was so happy I got to go back and see it uh, because since he had added that. Uh, the event that we were invited to f through like the South Florida Bloggers Union was so much fun. Like those girls are so genuine and down to earth. I'm just, I'm so happy to be a part of that group. Um, so thank you, Paola, for, for inviting me. They had great music and there was really delicious cocktails. I'm not a huge drinker. Like I couldn't even drink the entire cocktail, but they had kombucha cocktails. I, if you guys have been following my channel for any amount of time, I love kombucha. They had the GT's Trilogy kombucha. So they had these really like baby bottles of kombucha and the cocktails had kombucha, I believe rum, mint, and a raspberry. It was so awesome and delicious. Uh, then they also had people who were doing like graffiti and uh, they gave us a goodie bag, which I will share with you now. So Sprint gave us these goodie bags here. Hope you can see that. And it is in partnership with the Basil House. And I'll share with you what is inside. So first they gave uh, one of these pop sockets. It's one of those things that you can put on your phone that helps you hold it better. Have you guys seen these? I have one on my phone now and it is a complete 
lifesaver. It also can turn your phone into like a tripod. You can like stand it up. And this one says Florida Strong. So I love that. It's a reclaimed wood. And it is in partnership with the Miami Foundation. So that's even better. I love it. It says um, all donations go towards disaster relief efforts. As you guys know, Florida suffered some damage from Hurricane Irma. So that's great that they are giving back. Next thing is the biggest part in here. It is this decanter. It's a wine decanter. They did have wine at the event, but I went for the kombucha cocktail. And it is, yeah, I don't know if, if you know, like a wine decanter helps you aerate wine. So if you have a bottle of wine, it can help improve the taste. And you like put this in, how does this work? Yeah. So you pour the wine through here and it decants it and can help open up the flavors in wine. So this is actually by Samsung, it looks like. I didn't know Samsung had their own wine decanters. Shoot, they are getting fancy. There are two other goodies in here. Let's see what's in this box. Oh yeah, I love these. This is a selfie stick, but it's like especially for vlogging. It, you can put your phone right here and vlog. I might be able to put this camera in here because it extend, and then you can extend it out and use it for taking selfies or for vlogging. So that's awesome. I had one from YouTube and it broke. So I'm so happy they gave us that one. And then one last goodie here. It is an external battery charger. Uh, so you charge this and then you can use it to charge your phone on the go. So that is so nice of them. I really am so appreciative when I get anything from a brand or I get invited because I really know the time and effort it has taken them to put together this event. I'm going to do a blog post about the experience as well because I actually did a short interview with Ruben uh, Ubiera, which is the artist. He goes by Urban Ruben, which I'll have all of his information, his like Instagram down in the description box. Um, I've been working up my confidence to just like go up and talk to people like that, to artists or like famous people, I don't know. Um, just like yesterday when I went to talk to Patricia Field, I was like, no, maybe I won't say anything. And then I, was, then I thought to myself, no, Courtney, this is your chance, so go. So I saw Ruben like getting his stuff together to go paint, and I was like, excuse me. <laughs> um, and I just could see his passion in what he's doing in his art. So um, he shared with me some of his thoughts and his inspiration behind the mural. And so I will share those on my blog and you'll also see some now. So I really hope you enjoy the following footage from the sprint event that I went to. Collective. I want to tell everyone that made this event possible. Basel oh. House, yeah? <laughs> Basel House for sure. And Stephanie, especially. That's my little angel right here that makes things happen. But seriously, there's just so many people here that I see. Some 
that I recognize, some that I don't, but uh, it's actually even better that I don't recognize them because that means there's more people and that we're growing every year. Uh, this is a beautiful city and uh, when Spring approached me to do this build on, I didn't know exactly what they were looking for, but in reality I think that we all look for love and connectivity. And I knew that no matter what ball they were throwing at me, um, this is something that unites us all. I think that world lives in their own fear or in love. And this mural is all about love, about the unique location that we have here. I mean, look at this. This is winter. And this is how we are in winter, South Florida. So. I really hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Don't forget to leave me a comment down in the comment section to have your comment featured possibly in my next video. I'm going to feature now today's comment. Thank you guys for all of your words of encouragement. You're amazing and I just love YouTube for this reason. I hope you guys are having an amazing weekend. Don't forget to subscribe and if you turn on notifications then you'll know every time that I put up a new vlog for Vlogmas. I will see you again in my next vlog.